a warm hello from us, Gayatri and Radhika. Here is our video on Janmashtami, also called Gokulashtami, the day which marks the birthday of Krishna, the most popular avatar of Vishnu. In this video, through our depiction of the well-known stories from Krishna's childhood days, we touch upon some of the numerous names he has been bestowed for his adorable antics and unimaginable feats. Without further ado, let's dive into it. Our story starts with the astounding prophecy delivered to Kamsa, the wicked king of Mathura. Here is Kamsa charioting his sister Devaki and her newly wedded husband Vasudeva back to the palace. On the way, when Kamsa ill-treats a sage, a divination is heard from the skies that Devaki's eighth son would bring about his death and put an end to the sufferings of the Mathura residents. Angered and terrified at that prospect, Kamsa throws Vasudeva and Devaki into prison in an attempt to avert the foretelling, kicking off a fascinating series of incidents that culminates with his death at the hands of Krishna. Here is the prison of Mathura where Vasudeva and Devaki are in Kamsa's captivity. After many years of suffering and the loss of many sons, finally, Today, on the stormy night of the eighth day of the waning moon in the lunar month Bhadrapada, their much-awaited eighth son, Krishna, is born at the stroke of midnight. Being the son of Vasudeva, he also goes by the name of Vasudeva. To help Krishna escape the clutches of his irrational uncle, Vasudeva decides to break out of the prison. Right on cue, he is aided by a flurry of miracles with the prison bars breaking open and the menacing guards lured into deep sleep. Emboldened by the divine help he received, Vasudeva carries baby Krishna in a basket over his head and starts wading across the raging river Yamuna. To protect Krishna from the torrential rain, Vishnu's devoted serpent, Adishesha, glides over to Vasudeva and opens its hood to give them shelter. Thus successfully crossing the river, Vasudeva hands Krishna over to his friend Nanda in Gokul, a settlement of cow herds. The rain clouds of the stormy night that witnessed this spectacle matched Krishna's complexion, earning him the name Ghanashyama. The joyful atmosphere at Gokul on the arrival of Krishna is depicted in the scene. Baby Krishna is in the cradle with Nanda and his wife Yashoda rejoicing the arrival of a baby in their home. Devaki's seventh son, Balarama, born through Vasudeva's older wife, Rohini, is also present. The herdsmen and the milkmaids known as Gopa and Gopi have come to express their happiness and give their blessings to Krishna, fondly called as Nandalala, the darling son of Nanda and Yashoda. Here is naughty Krishna in the middle of his favorite pastime, stealing butter from the pots of the neighboring gopis in their absence and feasting on it with his big and little friends, making a proper mess by smearing butter all over himself and on the floor. Though his real intent of this mischief was to dissuade the residents from giving an unfair portion of their hard-earned products to Kamsa in form of tax, this particular trait of his gave him the infamous name 
नवनीत चोरा और माखन चोर द बटर स्टीलर द इंडिग्नेंट कॉपीज ऑफन कंप्लेन अबाउट कृष्णा एस्कपेट्स टू यशोदा हु रिफ्यूज टू बिलीव दम बट वन डे वेन शी कैच हिम रेड हैंडेड यशोदा टोन बिटवीन अफेक्शन एंड एंगर punishes krishna by tying him to a mortar with a rope incredibly krishna not only manages to walk dragging the mortar along but also crashes the nearby twin trunked arjuna trees by going between them he thereby frees himself as well as liberates kubera's two sons who had been cursed to turn into those trees so later on krishna manages to woo and pacify yashoda her punishment meted out to him gave him the name damodara the one who was bound to his waist by a rope one of the spectacular feats associated with krishna is his taming of the poisonous snake kaliya and convincing him to leave the river yamuna along with his family thus rendering its water potable again in this scene krishna is seen dancing on the multiple heads of kaliya as he emerges out of the deep water to the relief and astonishment of the onlookers of vrindavan krishna in this incident is referred to as kaliya nartana और कालिंग नर्तना दिस इज कृष्ण एज गोपाला द केयर गिवर ऑफ काउस ही इज सीन रेस्टिंग अंडर द ट्री वेल द काउस आर हैपीली ग्रेजिंग अराउंड हिम नंद बाबा हैड लैक्स ऑफ काउस एंड कृष्ण न्यू ईच वन बाय द नेम द काउस इन रिटर्न loved krishna and his flute and produced more milk than usual in his presence here is krishna providing refuge to the cattle and kinsmen of vrindavan by lifting the bountiful govardhan hill thus protecting them from indra's wrath for choosing to worship the hill over him lifting the hill on his little finger for days together krishna attained the name of giridhari the mountain bearer this is the much renowned ras leela krishna's song and dance with his soulmate radha and the gopis mesmerized by krishna's melodious playing of the flute each of the gopi enters a blissful world of their own where they see themselves dancing with krishna and experience utmost joy and contentment through the dance due to krishna's ability to weave magic both with his flute and his own charm he is fondly called as murali mohana meanwhile Krishna's stay in Gokul and Vrindavan had been continuously punctuated by frequent visits from different demons. Kamsa, having realized that he had been tricked during the birth of Devaki's eighth child, tracks down Krishna's location and sends asuras one after the other to kill him. The demons assume different forms to approach Krishna, but all of them end up meeting the same fate. that is death the first and prominent one is putana the demoness who comes in the disguise of a gopi and tries to breast feed poisoned milk to krishna to everyone's surprise krishna remains unharmed and instead it is putana who dies here are chakatasura who takes the form of a cart and trinavarta who assumes the form of a tornado 
the other demons appear as different animals but sasura comes as a calf dhenukasura as a donkey pakasura as a stork vyomasura as a bat aghasura as a snake arishtasura as a bull and keshi as a horse even at his tender age krishna sometimes accompanied by balarama exhibited astounding powers to kill those demons thereby playing the role of mukunda the liberator of souls after all of his henchmen failed to do his bidding kamsa invites krishna and balarama to mathura for a final showdown here is the arena where a series of contests are arranged to test them on physical strength and skills with the intent of killing them however kamsa's final plan also backfires krishna faces the rogue elephant kovalayapida and easily subdues him kamsa then sends two huge and brawny wrestlers mushtik and chanura to finish off balarama and krishna here is balarama wrestling mushtik and he ends up conquering him with great ease chanura next enters the arena with vengeance and tries to crush krishna to death krishna using his presence of mind and agility tires him out and defeats him enraged kamsa himself enters the arena to fight krishna in his avid fear he hallucinates krishna's presence everywhere and eventually meets his end in his dying moments with krishna on his chest he realizes the true identity of his self marked foe krishna thereby fulfills the prophecy frees devaki and vasudeva from the prison and becomes the deliverer for the entire kingdom of mathura he is hence hailed as kamsantaka the vanquisher of kamsa Inspired by the tales of little Krishna people across India have come up with fascinating traditions to celebrate his birthday in a fond yet grand manner It is customary for people from different regions to stay off their regular meals during the day of Janmashtami in homage to Vasudeva and Devaki's ordeals in the prison Instead they consume satvic dishes like gopal kala panjeeri and sabudana khichdi they also stay awake the entire night of janmashtami as a tribute to vasudev's overnight exertions to keep krishna safe from kamsa further in the north radha krishna's ras leela is recreated with song and dance the west and some southern temples organize dahi handi or puri adi an activity that involves forming a human pyramid to reach a high hanging buttermilk pot similar to how krishna used to steal butter from the gopis houses people from the south draw footprint of krishna from the main door of the house to the prayer area as a symbol of krishna walking into their homes with butter smeared feet they prepare a variety of fried dishes notably the sweet and salty chidai the crunchy sounds produced while eating them are equated to kamsa angrily gnashing his teeth in reaction to krishna's escape from prison in the east children dress up as various characters of vrindavan and the childhood pranks of krishna are enacted on the streets with great fervor thus little krishna through his sweet and naughty anecdotes teaches us how to steal simple moments of joy no matter how grave the situation is his childhood days set the foundation for his later years 
where he remains unfazed in facing challenges thrown in life and finds solutions while being steadfast on the path of righteousness. The many names given to Krishna are in tribute to the different traits of his character that he embraces during his journey in this mortal world. Hope you found our video entertaining and that our little Krishna put a smile on your faces. Wishing everyone an utterly buttery month of Janmashtami. Thank you for watching. Namaste.